right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. Have you ever wanted to get a useful notification from your bamboo printer instead of when you've pressed the cancel button and it sends you a notification that you've canceled it, which you already know? Um, I'd like to get a notification like maybe when my filament runs out or the printers had an error or on some prints, I wanna check it after the first layer. So I'd like to know when the first layer is done. Um, so those would be some really, really useful notifications that we could get from our bamboo printer <clears throat> that are outside of the bamboo handy app or, um, you know, the desktop app that we use for bamboo studio. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over how we can set up home assistant to send these notifications to devices that also have your home assistant, um, connected to them. So I have a small little desktop mini to run my Home Assistant instance, but I also have Home Assistant running on my iPhone. So since I have it running on my iPhone, I can send notifications to my iPhone that way um, over Home Assistant. So this is super handy with my bamboo printer. So when certain values are expressed or certain statuses change, I can send myself a notification um, to let me know that something has happened. So in today's video, we'll be going over how to set all of that up. If you've already set yourself up in Home Assistant, then this should be fairly straightforward. Um, and I'll show you some simple tricks for that. If you haven't set yourself up, your bamboo printers and everything up in Home Assistant, hopefully this will be the motivation to do that because you can do some really, really cool things with that. So in today's video, we'll be going over how to create some custom uh, notifications that are a little bit more useful than when you've canceled a print. So if all that sounds good and sit back and relax and I'll get everything ready. All right. So here's a list of all of the notifications that we'll be setting up today. But you could use the same procedures that I show here today to make your own custom notifications. So today we'll look at when um, there's an error detected, when the print is finished, when your printer needs an update, when the current layer is ab above a certain number, and when one of your filament trays is empty. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so here we are in Home Assistant, and I already went ahead and made a um, new automation in here. There's several other videos showing you how to get up to this um, step here. So if you haven't used Home Assistant before, um, watch some of those other videos um, to get here. But basically I created a new note of, or a new automation and then I've made some triggers in here. So I'll show you how to make a trigger and then I'll show you what these other ones are. Um, so I don't have one for, there's an error for the printer. So let's add a trigger for that. And that would be a device that would trigger that. And that's my X1C. And if you have multiple printers, you can do that for multiple printers. But we'll see that once we select that, we have all of these different options that we can select from. One of which is there's a print error. But you can also see there's some other error things in here like HMS error started detecting a problem, the print error started and stopped detecting problems. So if there's things um, that you need to troubleshoot, that might be a way to troubleshoot it, but we'll just select the generic print error. <clears throat> and then one of the things that you wanna do is edit these IDs and create a, you know, your own ID. So we'll call this X1C print error and that way we can refer to it later okay so now that we have that one set up so i did the same thing with the print finished and made you know x1c print finished and again if you have more than one um, printer then you are going to want to specify which printer is finished and not just a printer you know print finished if you only have one printer then you know print finished would be fine there Another one that you have access to is, um, you know, the firmware has an update available. So if you want to be notified whenever there's a new update available for the printer firmware, you can set a notification up for that. And again, X1C update available is the notification. 
or not the notification, the ID of that. If you're looking to do things at a certain um, layer height or want to check things after layer height, you can do that as well. So this one is not X exclamation point, but X1C first layer finished. So here we can look at the X1C um, current layer um, above one. So right when it goes above one, this would trigger this entity of the first layer finished. So you could change whatever layer that you wanted this to be if you wanted to have your own custom, you know, or, or look at it at a certain layer or at a certain um, point in time. And then the last one, this one looks like a lot, but basically all I did here is um, instead of selecting device at the beginning there, you select entity, and then I just selected each tray of the um, each AMS that I have. So I have two. So you'll see AMS one, tray one through four, AMS two, tray one through four. And then we're looking for the attribute empty to change from false to true. So anytime one of these trays um, goes to true for empty so the it's empty it can it will trigger this or this will be that trigger so filament ran out is the trigger id so one other thing that you can do here is if you don't want to be notified um like at night or something when you know things are printing overnight you can add a time condition here and that might be something useful so you know, after 6 a.m., for example, and maybe before 10 p.m., these would be the only times that you would want to be notified. So that's how you can set that up. And now we can just set up, you know, a notification for each one of these, but all within the same automation here. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, I've shown in some other videos, but I'll show again in this video. The trick here is now that we have these little IDs or these things that um, you know we're monitoring or whatever, now we can have this choose and then choose an action in order to do something. Um, so I already have one of those in there. So let's go ahead and delete that. And I'll show you from the start how to do this. So. In the then do portion here of the automation, go to add action and then start to type in choose and you're going to select choose here. So now it's going to give us, um, you know, things that we can choose an option between. So here we'll add a condition. And we want that to be a trigger so we can say triggered by. And then now you'll see all of those trigger IDs that we set up are um, listed here. So the first one that we can um, look at is the print error. And then now we want to add an action. And there's this cool thing within here that you can start to type in notification. And you'll see that I can send a notification um, via mobile app to my phone. That's the name of my iPhone here. So it's real easy to send a notification here. And um, since this one is the print error, we can say your X1C is about to explode hurry <laughs> and you can make these notifications whatever you um, want them to be and it's as simple as doing that so now for the print error we have um, you know a notification that'll come out so if we want to do the next one we just add an option condition triggered by and then now let's say that uh, you know we want to do the filament ran out so that's that condition and we'll add the action of notification again via mobile app to my phone and we can say x one c filament 
ran out. Now you could set one of these up for each one of the trays if you wanted to get notified of which tray ran out. Um, but if any of them run out, your print's going to stop. So I think it's enough to just kind of group those together there. So I'll finish setting up the rest of these notifications in our, well, before we do that, um, you can kind of test these as well. So once you have one of these set up, you can hit the three little dots right here and hit run action. And we should have heard my watch beep right there. And sure enough, it says X1C filament ran out. So let me go ahead and get the rest of these um, set up and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so here we are with all the options finished and you can kind of have some fun with this. Um, you know, um, your X1C is about to explode, your filament ran out layer, um, but you can kind of have some fun and make these custom updates. Bamboo wants more data, so there's an update available. And, um, you know, your X1C has done your bidding and is ready for another chore. So have some fun with these um, custom notifications and, and make them kind of cool and, and custom to your own little personality and have some fun with this. Um, but this is an easy way to get notified when certain things are happening within your printer um, and different things like that. So before we leave, let me go in and show you how you can look for some of these attributes and some of these different things that you can um, create in automation. All right, so if you go into one of your devices on Home Assistant here, you'll see this page with all the entities that are associated or all the devices that are associated with the X1C. So how did I know, um, you know how to change from true to false or whatever for the filament when it's out? Well, all I did is I came here and I selected my first AMS and then I looked at this first tray and looked at the attributes and saw that there is an attribute called empty that's a true or a false or a boolean um, right there. So that's how I knew that I could do that um, with that. But some other interesting things that you'll see in here and I would with all of your different devices that are um, in here, you know, select different things like this because this is the easy way you can send yourself notifications when something happens. Um, but if your temperature in there reaches a certain um, thing, you might want to get notified. And if your humidity index reaches a certain level, that might be another notification that you want to um, send yourself. Um, so that's how I knew how to do the empty being true or false. And there's also some other things that you might want to set up some notifications for on your different AMSs. So I hope you enjoyed today's video um, and this motivates you to go make some custom settings. I want to thank Robert O'Neill, who's on our um, live streams and everything, who sent me an email the other day asking me about the things that I use within Home Assistant. And um, one of the things that I've been wanting to do is set up some better notifications for um, the printer. So I want to thank Robert for motivating me to make today's video and to um, get in here and make these uh, different um, um, notifications for everybody. So I appreciate everybody watching. If you like this video, be sure to smash the like button. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't mix, miss the next one. And I hope to see everybody on the next live stream and on next um, week's video. Um, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.